Okay, so this is Human Development Debt and Diversity for IB Geography and this is the importance of social entrepreneurship approaches for human development. So the subtopics are the work of microfinance organizations and their networks, alternative trading networks such as fair trade and then TNC corporate social responsibility frameworks and global agreements. Okay, so microfinancing is the allowance of startups to be created. Oh, oh. It allows startups to be created and improves people's lives by providing small loans to people in low-income countries. And microcrediting provides the financial means such as loans to low-income earners to people in areas with limited financial systems. So here are a few examples. First of all, we have M-Pesa, which is microcrediting in Kenya. It's used by over 17 million Kenyans and 75% of the population. It is a mobile phone based money transfer service launched in 2007. It's the largest mobile network operator in Kenya and Tanzania. It has expanded to South Africa and India. Users deposit money into an electronic account and it reduces crime in cash based societies. Uh, and then there's micro insurance in India. So this is good for their rapidly growing population and over 37 million poor families and now possess insurance, biometric smart cards for medical care at certain hospitals. So that kind of eases the process of healthcare as well. Then you have microcrediting in Kerala, India. So women have high status and female literacy is higher here. Um, and it's at 87%. And then it has also lowered, there's also lower um, fertility rate and Im infant mortality rates. Um, and there's also this... Um, I don't, I'm not going to pronounce it. There's also this mission, um, which is a government-based scheme providing microloans and over 50% of families in Kerala take part in it. So it's boosting their human development opportunities. Then we have fair trade. So this is a social movement which aims to attain a fair price for goods in produced in developing countries. It also refers to only purchasing imports from places where employees are in a safe environment with reasonable wages. The main principles of fair trade are opportunities for disadvantaged producers, transparency, accountability, fair trade practices, fair payment, no child labor, no forced labor, no discrimination, gender equity, freedom of association, good working conditions, capacity building, it promotes fair trade and also respect for the environment. So examples here are banana farmers. So um, fair trade provides employment for thousands of people in Latin America, the Caribbean, Southeast Asia and West Africa and generates vital foreign exchanges earnings that the government depend on for public sector spending and healthcare and education, infrastructure. Um, an example is the Windward Island in the West Indies. And then we have sugar farmers. So around 80% of the world's sugar is derived from sugarcane. And this is a main source of national income for many countries, such as Cuba, where it accounts for 70% of export value. And this uh, fair trade is especially helpful where climate change impacts agriculture. Then we have um, TNCs and corporate social responsibility. So CSR is a type of international private business self-regulation. It demands mandatory schemes at regions, regional, national, and even international levels. And it's an organization policy that must align with the, with and be integrated into a business model. The benefits are national laws and policies, long-term profits attract investment, marketing strategies, and ethical concerns. So, and then we have international framework agreements. So these are agreements that TNCs enter into with trade union organizations in effort to protect their employees' working conditions. They're binding between the TNCs and labor organizations. They work where there is an absence of international laws and standards which regulate treatment and workers and the environment. So basically just creating fair conditions for labor um, in agreement with the large transnational corporations involved. And an example of this is IKEA.